Hi guys, so I get a lot of questions of people asking how am I able to work from off-grid places? I have to have good internet connection. There has been places in the past, especially those remote places that were lacking good signal. And I especially need to have electricity. So the true definition of living off the grid, so living without light and electricity, is not so possible when you are a digital worker, especially because you have to have your laptop or your computer always plugged in, whether that's working from your tablet, from your mobile device or from your laptop. With my work also, I have a bunch of different equipment that I film with, so my cameras, my drone. A few years ago, I never thought this would be a sustainable way of living for me because I didn't really realize that things like portable generators and solar portable solar panels are even a thing and then I started watching a bunch of van life YouTube channels and sailing YouTube channels and it got to me that actually these things are more possible than I ever realized. So for example for European destinations I use the portable router but I still need to have electricity just like with everything else all my devices run on electricity and for that I have this incredible portable generator. This generator from the brand called All Powers is just a beast in the smallest size ever. This is perfect for traveling. You can pack this in your backpack if you go backpacking, if you go camping and you can buy solar panels to go with it. You can buy these two things together by the way or you can buy them separately. All Powers also has a bunch of different generators of different voltages and different powers. Mine is uh, 300 watts, 230 voltage for the main two sockets here but I'm going to get into all the features in a second. I've chosen this one specifically because it is very lightweight, very portable. The company have reached out to me but ever since I've tried this generator I have not been looking back. This thing that was kindly sent to me by All Powers have really changed the game for me in terms of being able to work from the most remote locations and this generator specifically is for the European market however they have US side, European side, UK side so basically my viewers from all around the world can pretty much benefit from this generator but I would suggest getting the right one for the right country. This portable generator actually charges up in different ways so one way is to simply charge it from a socket so at home or in a hotel hostel wherever you stay or even when you're running your car through a car socket you can charge this and that will take around four to five hours to fully charge maybe even less than that or you can charge this from you know anywhere outside just by using the solar panels that I have here and I'm going to run you through how to use it how to charge it up using the solar panels in a second but on a sunny day you can charge this thing up within four to five hours this will be fully charged and once it's charged it's going to last you a pretty long time I mean depends of course what you're going to charge with this the more power your appliances require the less charge time you will get out of this but for me I'm charging my laptop charging my drone my cameras and this if it's fully charged it can easily last me good few days a few weeks even if I use it you know very efficiently and I can also charge this generator up while I'm using it while I'm taking power out of it this system pretty much has allowed me to work from anywhere. I can just bring my laptop here, I can plug in my Wi-Fi to this and just work from here quite easily. Very well built by the way like it is it's weighty but it's not heavy so you know it's high quality it's really well built but it's not heavy so like I said you can easily take it in your backpack without feeling like you know you're carrying something very heavy with you. Uh, I came here, I brought my solar, my big DSLR camera, my drone, this generator, my internet and my laptop and I didn't struggle to get here. 300 watts, 230 voltage, 
sockets right here and I can just plug in my internet very easily into here like so and there you have it and when I turn this AC button on right here this goes on and when I put the AC button on this starts letting the power out of the main plugs and the fan goes on you can hear it but it's not too loud and doesn't bother me from working whatsoever this just prevents it from overheating and as you can see my internet is already starting up so yeah it takes just about like one minute to start working and i can just place it even on this piece of wood and start working straight away but i can actually also mm, use my uk plugs so for example to charge my cameras i have a uk plug with me and i just use a universal travel adapter i pop it into here like so and i can once again even the uk style sockets i can plug from this travel adapter however if you only have uk plugs then definitely i suggest you to get the generator that comes with uk plugs so the one from the uk's website will have two uk plugs but to me i think this works quite well for me because i actually travel mostly like overseas than in the uk these days all right so yeah the ac plug is off then we also have the dc function right there and when you turn this on this lets the power out of the usb sockets so you can just plug in your any of your usb devices such as your phone from the usb outputs you have dc output here so you have two dc outputs three usb and one usb c output also so yeah that's awesome you have you can charge basically many of the different things at once this also has bluetooth that connects to your phone and connects to an app uh, i will show you all of this also in a sec how that how all of that works but basically this next button right there you have to press it on for three seconds for it to activate and go on and yeah now it's on and it means that the bluetooth function of this generator is on so you can use the app on your phone to control it sometimes you may not be close to this generator and you still want to operate it from a distance and the app allows you to do so so right now i basically all the information that i have on this little display i also have on the app i can also operate my switches so i can charge the things or i can discharge the things easily from here so i can turn the ac button on from the app you see so i didn't even have to press anything on the generator itself i can turn it off so you know if something is charging and you can see that it's fully charged you can turn it off just from your phone you don't have to you can keep this stored safely without worrying or touching it i can also turn off the dc option and i can even put the led lights that come with this generator which is really cool this is perfect for camping look the light has gone on i hope you can see that i mean right now it's a bright day outside so we don't need the led lights but this function is absolutely amazing for when you go camping these are very powerful these led lights yeah they're quality they're really good the only one feature that i've not been able to really figure out how to use and i've tried my best but i think it's my phone's fault as opposed to the generator itself is the wireless charging feature on top here and technically you're only supposed to put your phone on here and supposed to start charging but my iphone just doesn't want to do that i don't know if it is my competence maybe some of you can correct me in the comments and tell me how to activate this wireless charging feature because i have seen other people using it very successfully but with my iphone i've just not been able to figure out how to make it work but with that being said you know i can easily just plug in my cord my iphone cord but anyway now i want to get into how to charge this device um, so we are going into the input side there are four ways i believe to charge this um, one of them is through the main 
mains power so you can charge it at home you can charge it in your hotel wherever you have mains electricity so if you are sailing you can charge it when you are plugged into shore power in the marina you do essentially get the mains plug that comes with the generator itself you don't have to buy these things separately of course this all comes with your generator you have two pieces of the main plug so you just plug this one on here it's the ac dc adapter and yeah you just plug it to power once again depending on which country you buy your generator from and then you plug it into the input right there and you can plug it into the main socket i will show you when i get home how that works because from here i can't really do that what i can do however is show you how to charge this using solar today's day is not the most reliable for using solar panels as you can see probably throughout this video the sun keeps coming in and out but we'll see if we can get some power out of the solar panels if not then i'll wait for a better day and insert some clips of how to charge this very efficiently but actually out of curiosity let's see whether we can get some power out of the solar on a very like you know you can see like on and off day like today some sun and some clouds and with that so solar panels uh, i think i've mentioned before you can buy them separately or you can buy them with a generator i would suggest buying them together i mean this electricity comes for free it's sustainable it's free and solar panels actually these are also pretty lightweight they weigh about three kilograms you can definitely easily travel with these also and here they actually come with a pouch right there with all your connectors and what's really cool about this solar panel the connectors that come with it they don't only work with this generator but you actually get a few different connectors that could work with some of the other generators even if you don't want to buy the generator because let's say you have a different generator but you're just looking for some solar panels i think this, these ones would be great for you to use here are the charging cables for the solar can see right here and some of the other attachments so yeah a lot of different goodies that you get with your solar panels very conveniently placed right where the panels are so you know you don't run at any risk of not bringing them when needed so I just plug this side into the solar panel and then right into the solar input on the generator and now just make sure i'm not actually blocking the panels 12 15 watts on the display you might not be able to tell from here yeah i definitely need to do a better close-up 25 watts 27 30 32 34 35 36 42 41 but yeah you just leave it out in the sun to charge it's very difficult to see you guys here but it's, yeah 55 56 the light is shining on it just you can't really see but it says 61 watts 59 now 60 61 so the panels are charging really nicely with how small these things are i actually think they're very powerful and now i'm at this gorgeous place here by the lake as long as you get the sunlight shining directly on the solar panels they'll charge as, just as efficiently in autumn or in the winter as they do in the summer as long as it's a sunny day like today 